Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. Currently, we have all U.S. equity futures trading the upside. Dow's up 177 points. NASDAQ's up 64. Those are both a half a percent. Six tenths for the S&P. That's 24 points. And nearly seven tenths for the Russell. That's up 12 points. You've got gold trading out at 1720. That's up 11 bucks. Silver's up 20 cents at 1785. Platinum's up 14 bucks. Lights we crude up 255. Trading out 89.16. The 30-year Treasury is. Uh, down six ticks, trading out at 133.12. So what does all that mean, Jelly Bean? That means if you've got a, a baseball cap, you need to turn it around because it is rally on. Let's go to, oh, I was uh, not showing you the right chart out there. Okay, well, I'm showing you. Well, let's, let's go to the charts that I am showing you. So what did all that mean out there? Well, let's go take a look at the ES mini upper left-hand corner. What you'll see is a TD9 count bottom that completed yesterday. There's an A to B equal CD pattern that also completed. That means we've got a Gartley buy pattern in effect. And why? Because it formed that nice bullish hammer candle. What price should do is go target the 4096 level. Now I say it should do that. The reason I say it should do is because there's also a new profile that is attempting to form. And that says that the resistance level for the ES mini where the sellers are located is at 4060. So right now we'll say 4060 is the area. I won't have a confirmation on those new profiles until Sunday evening. The NQ also has a TD9 account and buy the D point or Gartley buy pattern out there. Price should go target 12789. That is its oscillator and change line. It too is trying to form a new profile. Resistance is 12618. If we take a look at the Dow Equity Future contract, also a TD9 count and buy the D point bottom, again because of their hammer candles. Price here should target 32548. Now the top of the profile for the current, the new profile that is trying to form inside of the Dow is now up at the 32,332 level. So that would be the area where you would likely see sellers step in. If we take a look at high grade copper out here, it's below the bottom of its weekly profile. It's below its oscillator and change line, likely targeted at 326 level. Gold triggered a Rhodesman indicator signal yesterday. If it forms a bullish reversal candle today, and to do that, all it needs to do is close halfway inside of yesterday's bar. A close halfway inside there will give you a bullish piercing candle. A close above yesterday's open will give you a bullish engulfing candle. And that at least suggests to move up to 1737. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien with the Morning Market Kickoff is up next. Have a fantastic holiday weekend. I'll see you on Tuesday, 11 a.m. sharp. Be safe out there and have a great weekend.